Today we're going to install a VHF UHF antenna into the new ham shack at the house. Uh, we're going to use some Roan antenna mount brackets to do this install. As you can see here we had to drill into the brick. Um, so there's a top and a bottom mount. It's a total of five screws. We're going to use some tap cons into the brick to secure. Here you can see the top Roan mount oh, we've got the right side already secure we're going to level up the left side and drill a pilot hole before the installation uh, of the screw on the left side there so we've got it nice and level and we're about to start and come in with a pilot hole and then a tap con to secure the top bracket to now we're working on the bottom mount. As you can see, we're just doing another pilot hole into the brick. Once we get that one done, we'll get one side screwed in, come back and level it, and then screw in the other side to secure it to the house here. Now, see a slight little mishap there. Uh, the drill bit was coming loose, had to snug it up and then right through it. And here's the bottom mount. You can see we've got the right side secure. We're going to get it level before doing a pilot hole on the left side. And then we'll come down and do the bottom mount. There's a third mount that goes on to the bottom one as we go through this. You can see just kind of making sure it's nice and level so everything looks nice uh, and everything's nice and plumb and level. Here we go making the pilot hole. Uh, with this hammer drill and then the Tapcon screws that made these mounts super secure. We actually had some severe weather other night a couple weeks after this and no issues with the mounts or the mass sticking up in the air at all. Here we go securing in the bottom mount of the bottom plate. It's got one extra arm just there for some extra security. As so we go, we make our pilot hole. We'll come back with a tap con and lock it in as well. Now these mounts stick out about two feet from the house. Now you can see we're using some two inch metal conduit as our mast for our antenna. Uh, we'll put a Comet GP3 up above it, mounted to it. It'll stick up about 15 feet from the ground when it's all said and done but we have the option to go back and extend this with another 10 foot pipe if we wanted to. So far we're getting ranges and hen repeaters about 60 to 70 miles away where we're at. Obviously the terrain around you and the elevation changes will, will dictate how far you get out with your base station there. So far with us it's pretty flat around and we're getting about 60 to 70 miles no issues. So you can see it's got three bolts that lock the Roan antenna mounts to your antenna. And here's the final product after all done. Expect a follow on video for the box in the background there. As you can see we go up above the gutters. It sticks away from the gutters about six inches. And there's our Comet GP3 antenna. It's for a total of about 15 feet.